This giant butterfly lives in a land of active volcanoes. Every time one blows, it's forced to abandon its forest home and head off into the unknown. The volcano which destroyed its birthplace lies in Papua New Guinea on an island known as New Britain. Here, the harbor town of Rabal nestles inside a vast caldera, a large gaping central mouth with several smaller volcanoes around its edge. When a volcano is dormant, dense tropical forest thrives on the richly fertilized beds of ash and fruit bats make themselves at home, resting upside down, unperturbed by the strange noises, as if they'd heard it all before. It was towards the end of the last century that this caldera first began to give clear warning signs. For years, Rabal's dragon grumbled and hissed, suggesting that the pressure in the chamber was building up and the volcano about to explode. Acidic gases began to burn the trees, as they are here at Kaka, another volcano within the same chain. Tremors shook the ground daily. And incredibly, the land near Rabal Harbor rose over three feet. Despite all these signs of the monster within, some people were reluctant to leave. Then early one morning in 1994, it finally exploded. start of its longest eruption in living memory. For still today, Rabal's dragon does not sleep. It might nap for a few months, but then it blows again, raining ash down on the few stoic inhabitants still determined to live in the shadow of the volcano.